Well, hello, hello. Hi there, welcome to my home studio. I'm Coach Kelly, <laughs> and there's Maxwell there to join us for a moment anyway. Today's class is a fantastic class. We're gonna get through three sets. The first two are super sets, and the third is a giant set. Hold on, hi. All you need is one dumbbell. I'm gonna use a 20 pound dumbbell. The third giant set has four moves, no weight required, all about working the abs and the core, and then also some cardio conditioning, or sprint conditioning. So let's get started with the warm up. and you need a resistance strap like this, and if you don't have one, let me know, and I'll tell you where to get it, or I'll mail you one. Moves, I call this the perfect 10 move warm up. Warming up every joint for mobility and in also increasing the heart rate. So starting session, so press your feet down into the ground like you're going to pull the floor apart and sit your hands closer together like this and you're going to squat and then pull your strap apart. So pull apart, feeling your shoulders. You can keep your elbows bent slightly right here. And now think about your legs and your glutes. Press your feet down. So just because I'm saying squat doesn't mean you automatically know how to do it. I want you to think about the move. Squat, press your feet down and lift. The second move is a rear lunge alternating with a sweep forward and then you're gonna turn the arms. So you gotta catch your balance, turn, sweep forward. And I'm holding the strap taut as I reach forward and reach to the side. Watch your foot back there. Keep your balance steady. Waking up the body. Now separate your hands like this and reach behind and then reach back over. If that hurts your shoulders, you can bend your elbows slightly and give yourself a little bit of a break. But I want you to try to get your arms extended straight. Now step to the side and reach to your foot. So we'll do upper body and lower body. Stretch and warm up. One more time on the other side, okay? And then the fourth move, you'll take a knee. When you take a knee, shift your hip forward, hand on the floor, then reach up, rotate under. Reach up and then rotate under. So you're rotating under your chest and behind the opposite arm on the inside of that leg that's forward. Reach up and rotate under. If you're new to this, you'll get very familiar with these moves. I do them the first before I do any type of workout. Same thing every single time. It's called your motivational ritual. Motivation ritual, the warm up. Reach, rotate under. So it not only prepares your body, but it gets your mind set and ready for what's ahead. Now do a hamstring stretch, just for a moment. Now cat cow. So cat cow is really good because you're flexing the spine right here and then you're extending right there. So flexion and extension, warming up the spine. Press your hands down, look forward, exhale, round, and look through your legs. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands forward, tuck your toes, lift your knees, lower down to the mat. Superman, reach your arms, reach the legs, lift and lower, lift and lower. At first, this feels super awkward because you're on your belly and you're lifting all four limbs. So lift up, hold, elbow side, reach forward, lower. Do it again, lift, elbow side, reach forward, lower, lift, Hands on the mat, lift up, plank to downward facing dog. Plank, downward facing dog. Plank, 
to downward facing dog. Plank, downward facing dog. Do that one more time. Plank, downward facing dog. Then step forward and stand up. And I want you to get into, it's called a boxer shuffle. So you're shuffling your heels and pumping your arms. And you can add a punch right there in front of your face, one arm, and then chain sides. Feels awkward at first, but good to learn coordination and movement. Punch, punch, do one more, other side, and now jump rope. So you're bouncing on the balls of your feet, warming up the ankles, the knees, the hips, and it's a small bounce. Feel buoyant, springy. Turn your rope. Bouncing on the balls of your feet. Keep going. And the last exercise is here's your jack. So this is low. You can always stay there or full form jack. Hop out and in. Press your heels down as you hop out and hop in. The last move, keep going. Three, two, and one, done. <laughs> Get into that part of it too. It's kind of fun. Ta-da, we did it. So we warmed up, now we're ready for the workout. Guess what? The workout's under 30 minutes. Grab one weight. First thing is goblet squat. My timer is set for 30 seconds on the move. So work. And 15 seconds between the sets. So the moves are squat and tricep extension. So here, a goblet squat a little wider than your hips, your feet, and you'll squat, tap your elbows to your thighs, push and lift up. And you don't have to go fast right here. In fact, I'd rather you go slow. So goblet squat, hold, and then lift up. Hold at the bottom and lift up. Try not to lean your chest forward. Keep that weight right there at your chest. Lower and then lift. Do it again. Excellent. Tricep extension over the head. So back-to-back -back moves, lower body, and then upper body. It's called peripheral heart action training, working different areas of the body are opposing upper and lower or lower than upper. Reach up behind the head. Bring your arms near your ears. Push the weight straight up. By the way, we're doing four rounds of this, a straight set. So the straight set being the same weight. We'll use the same weight through the, through the four rounds. So that's what a straight set is. <laughs> All right, you ready? Pick it up. So toes turned out slightly. And squat, hold, and then lift up. So go down slow this time, hold, and press and lift up. So if you're slower and controlled, you're working your muscles. If you speed it up, you can call it cardio. I don't want you to call it cardio or do cardio right here. We have that later, okay? Right here, you're doing strength training. So take it slow. And you want to build muscle because more muscle means a higher metabolism. Lift up and lower. Arms near your ears. And in this class, as you're building muscle, the, the way the workout is organized, you'll also burn fat. So two things happening at one time. Make sure you hydrate. Make sure you eat protein. All right, so set it down. Relax your arms. If you want to give your body a break to reset between sets, 
Turn your feet out slightly. And so it's a goblet squat, not a sumo squat. So right here, goblet squat just means the weight is right at the chest and your feet are a little wider than your hips. Toes turned out slightly. Now you wanna press the toes down, but get the weight back in your heels right there. Hold at the bottom and then lift. Do it again. Hold and lift. One more time. Tricep extension over the head. So I'm getting my thumbs underneath the end of the dumbbell and pressing straight up. I'm letting the weight disappear behind my head and then pressing straight up. I'll move over here. Straight up. Stagger your feet, soften your knees, slow and controlled work, arms near your ears, up, do it again, and up and over, one more round. Relax the arms, turn your feet out, get this right, weight to your chest, and squat, press down, lift, squat, lift, squat, lift, down, and then up. Maybe you can touch the, the elbows to the thighs, so that's something to work towards. Elbows touch your thighs. If you can't get that quite yet, it's okay. Excellent, tricep extension. Last time, get your thumbs under the end, lift up, reach. So I chose 20 pounds for me for this because I knew I could handle this weight through that rep range for four rounds. Strengthening my body, strengthening the triceps, Glutes, quads, hamstrings, and then up and over. Nicely done. Alrighty, so here's the deal. Moving on, the next tricep, our superset. Rear lunge, weight at the chest again. It's called a goblet rear lunge. Lower and lift. And we're gonna make this static. Lower and lift. My weight is at my chest, lift. This time I'm gonna face you. On the other side, I'll turn side so you can see where I'm approximating my body, the angles, which is important, very important. And now the other side. So from the side, looks like this. So now my left leg back, Notice my heel is up in the back and I'm lifting up and lowering. And I'm just coming close to the floor but not touching the floor. The other thing is my chest is slightly pitched forward. So I'm using that forward leg, push that foot down and then lower. Lift up and then lower. So the two moves are lower body moves. Okay, so RDL. So let's have the left leg forward, right leg back, or actually step together first. RDL is when you reach the leg back and you stand and balance on the other leg. So this leg straight, opposite leg comes straight back and then come up. And you wanna bring the weight in front of the shin and then lift back up. Do that again. Nicely done. Chain sides. So right side and then left side. You put your hand at your hip, get your balance. For some reason, it feels a little more difficult with my working leg being the right leg. That's the standing leg. A little 
little harder to get that coordinated, but I got it, right? All right, so back to the first move. You set the weight down if you need to. Otherwise, right here, weight to the chest, goblet, reverse lunge. I'll face you. So step back. Now just step together. So we'll change it. We'll vary this move, the lunge, making it a moving lunge. Rear lunge, more effective, better for the knee, knees. That forward leg is the leg that we're, that's working. So when you're moving your leg, you gotta make sure when you lower, you're hinging forward just slightly. Chain sides. Ready? Go. Forward. Lunge. Bring it up. Excellent. Step back and together. Nicely done. Change the weight to the other hand. Standing leg this side. So that's the leg that was just working. Hand at your hip. Opposite leg goes back. Reach in front of the shin and then come back up carefully. Reach and then lift back up. You want to bring the weight right in front of the shin, not forward of the shin, but close. So important that protects your back when you're closer in to the leg, to the center line of the body. Do it one more time. All right, so chain sides. Leg goes back and come up. Do it again. Careful. Excellent. Reach. Bring it up. Leg goes back, toes point down. Don't let your shoulders drop forward. Lead with the chest and then come up, okay? Now the third round. So change the weight to the other hand. And I'm going to turn side this time. Right here. This time, let's make it a pulse. So three, two, one, step forward. Do that again. Strengthening the forward leg. Three, two, one, step forward. Hold the weight strong. Three, two, one, step forward. Three, two, one, step forward, slow and controlled. Three, two, one, and now other side. Hand at your hip. Three, two, one, step together. Leg back, three, two, one, step together. Do it again. That opposite, the arm that's holding the weight, Slight bend in the elbow. Three, two, one. Nice. Do it again. Three, two, one. And that's it. Change the weight to the other hand. RDL. I'm going to continue looking this direction. Hand at your hip. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, reach, and then inhale coming up at that pace. Exhale. Woo, <laughs> inhale. Concentrating too much on breath. Concentrate on your balance. Bring it up. <laughs> Do it again. Reach, leg is back. If you can get the legs straight and point your toes down, that's what you want to do. If you need to bend your knee. That'll make sure your toes are not pointing to the side. Chain sides. 
hand at your hip, get your balance, reach, and then lift up. Do it again. Reach and lift up. Excellent. Reach, lift up. Reach, lift up. Nicely done. Reach the leg. Reach the weight right in front of the shin. Excellent work. Last round. Change the weight over. Let me turn out, turn this way. Last round, you ready? Standing tall. Bring your arm out for balance this time. And do three, two, one. Now hold. Three, two, one. Do it again, singles. Three, two, one, and now pulse, three, two, one, perfect. Chain sides, arm out for balance, three, two, one, now pulse, three, two, one, do it again, hold the weight strong, three, two, one, and now pulse, three, two, one, and you're done. Weight in the other hand. RDLs, last time. So look up here. Reach close to the shin, and the leg goes back. Just like that. Repeat. Sweep the leg back at the same pace that your body comes forward. Do it again. Leg goes up, body comes over. And stand up, chain sides. And lift. Do that again. Romanian deadlift. Reach, single arm, single leg. Woo, that one came out of place. Do it again. Sometimes it happens. Excellent work. And now, here is your giant set. <laughs> Guess what? Bring it on down. We're going to do some push-ups. We're going to practice, though, OK? So push-ups are super hard to, to really do correctly. So let's start with the knees on the ground. Tuck your toes under. Arms straight, fingers spread. Bend your elbows towards the rear, chest to the mat. Push and then lift up. Do that again. Push. And then lift up. First round we're going to do in this giant set, we're going to have the knees down. Excellent. OK? Stand up. Actually, on your forms, bring your heels together. Heels squeezing together. Press the forearms down. Inhale, exhale. So your thighs, your quads are squeezing together. Breathe. Press the floor away with the forearms, the palms. And set your knees down. Child's pose briefly. Put your forehead down. And then stand up. Now let's do a lateral. Actually, it's called a squat oblique twist. So it looks like this. So hands like this, squat, and then you're going to hop and turn your arms the opposite direction of your toes. Squat. So it's a skier move. 
So you're kind of bouncing, so it's not a big hop, just a little hop. Hop, hop. Excellent work. Second move, lateral move. So step side to side, get your footing right here. Sweep your arms. Now you're gonna pick your feet up. Three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, one, and hold. Three, push off two, push off one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Excellent. Now, bring it down. Crunches. Bicycle first and then crunches. So, legs up, hands behind the head, elbow to knee, touch, reach the opposite elbow to the floor, reach. So, you want to lift your blade up as you pivot and bring the elbow to your knee, chin off of your chest. Don't go fast. Keep it slow and controlled. You can also do three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, one, and hold. That's a good way to teach. All right, so now, upper body crunch with your feet up. And now just try. Curl on your legs with your elbows. Tap your toes to the floor. Reverse crunch. Touch, crunch. Reverse crunch, pulling your legs and your hips in as you lift the blades up and the elbows towards your knees. Do one more. Excellent. All right, so we're already here. Let's do your push-ups. Okay, this round, we're going to practice with one knee off the ground. Okay, so both knees down first. Tuck your toes and my elbows are over my wrists. Now, pick up your left knee. Keep your right knee down. Lower your chest to the floor and then lift up. Do that again, same side. Now set that knee down, chain sides. Opposite knee up. Do it one more time. And now put both knees down. Do it with the knees, with the knees down. One more time. Nicely done. Now on your forearms, palms clasped like this or palms flat with your forearms separated. Bring your heels over the balls of your feet or the toes. Squeeze your heels into each other. Press into the floor. Squeeze the heels together. Breathe. You got it. Keep going. Press down and stand up. Come on up. Okay, here's our ski move. The ski move. Clasp your hands in the front like this. So start with the squat and hop out of it by turning shoulders and hips the opposite direction. Squat and just get into a tempo. So you gotta practice it. It does take coordination, but You'll get it, just like jump rope. Jump rope is super hard, but after you practice, you can get it. Come on. Side, side. Excellent. And now the lateral move. So start like this, get your footing. Push off the ground right there. Push. Now, do three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, one, hold. Two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One more. Surprising, right? How high your heart rate goes with that. All right, bring it down. Bicycle. 
Lift your legs up, shoulder blades up, reach. And your legs extending out can be more parallel to the floor or up higher. Point your toes towards like the wall or the ceiling. Then go three, two, one, and hold. 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 Crunches. Upper body or lower body or together. So crunch, preferably, if you can get this. Roll into a ball right here. Crunch, and then tap. Alternately, you can reach the legs and the arms. Crunch, reach a little harder. So I just made it a little more of a challenge, but you can do it. Reach. And you're back to push-ups. Let's see where we are. Last round. Okay. This time, your choice. Full-on push-ups. Knees or one knee up, one knee down. Push the floor away. Do it again. So you're squeezing your thighs. Press the floor away. Do it again. Nice. Excellent. Beautiful. <laughs> Set your knees down. Put your forearms on the floor. Feet together. Squeeze the heels towards each other. Palms flat. Fingers spread. Breathe. Stay static. Straighten your legs. Straighten your body. Don't lift the hips too high. Squeeze your heels in towards each other. You got it. Breathe. Nicely done. <laughs> Set your knees down. All right. Skier move. Two skier moves. Twisting and then lateral, lateral leaping. Arms in front. You ready? Squat, twist, squat, twist. You're going to get really good at this. Turn, turn, turn. Come on. And here's your lateral move, side to side. Use your arms, sweep. Get your footing. Now leap, leap, leap and hold. Leap, leap, leap and hold. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Again, one more. Fantastic. Bring it down. Let's finish on the mat. And then we'll go right into a stretch. Cool down. Legs up. Stay with me. Bicycle. 30 seconds. Chin off your chest. Look across the room, pay attention to your form. Even though you're tired, stay with me. And now, crunches. Lower upper together or with the reach. So in, reach. But if you bring your elbows in and touch your knees, be sure to think about your back lifting up. So you're crunching upper body with lower body, not just 
reaching. Nicely done. There's the finish horn. I want you to stand up, grab your strap. So there's 10 perfect moves for the cool down. So reach here and reach up. So just the arms right here. This is called shoulder flossing. Now I want you to have your knees soft. Soft knees, or call it micro bend. Does that, does that make sense? Reach up and over. Excellent, tricep stretch. Up and over, keep your legs where they are. So I'm just pulling slightly on the lower hand to stretch my upper arm, my upper shoulder, and my upper tricep. So if you were to look at me from the back, looks like this. And I'm pressing my head back. So we're starting with the arms, we'll go to the legs next. So reach out, let's do the other side. Switch, switch and reach underneath. And then you're just slightly tugging right there. Pull the elbow in. So you're getting that internal rotation stretch, external rotation stretch at the shoulder joint. We're stretching the triceps of that upper arm. Breathe. So normally we would stretch the inner thighs by reaching from one foot to the other like this. You can try that. But I want to do something a little bit different this time. You can hold the strap and I want you to lean over to this side right here. Maybe put your hands on the floor, can you do that? Keep your feet planted. Breathe. Now just pivot or go over to the other side and hold. So we'll share the time on this round. Lateral stretch, knee over ankle. And then we're already here, so we're gonna turn and put the knee on the floor. So this is a static lizard pose. Hands on the floor, or call it a low lunge. Knee on the floor right here, and you wanna shift the hip facing the ground. Place, turn this, the foot out, press your hand into the inside of the knee over here, see that? And then look over your shoulder, and you wanna pull your elbow in, breathe. Watch that heel back there, it'll sickle the foot. All right, so now do a hamstring stretch briefly, just like in the beginning, warm up. Chain sides. So this is about the legs, the hips, the hamstrings. Hip flexors go forward. Move the foot out at an angle. Hand at the inside of the knee and then look over your shoulder. Push your hand down. And this foot's coming up slightly too, by the way. I'm getting a nice stretch in my inner thigh and my hip flexor. And then hamstring stretch briefly. Drop, drop the hip down. And similar to the beginning, cat-cow is always useful right here. So lower your belly first, cow, then round your back up, cat. So you wanna inhale, look forward, exhale, round, cat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Come on to a seated position, it's called 90-90 stretch. So one shin forward, one shin side, turn the direction of this leg. Okay, so grab this knee, press it down. Grab your ankle, press it down. Can you do that? Then lean forward. Try to get your forearms down. So you're squared to this forward leg. Your knees, knees are 90 degrees. So are your ankles. Now lift up and you're just gonna flip over to the other side. So right here, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Press the knee down, grab your, your ankle, square yourself this direction, right? And then place your hand, hand, forearms. Press into the forearms, press into the hands. Pull in your abs. And then walk it up. Okay, so here we go. Just watch, so your feet are here. Push onto the floor, push the floor away and come onto your feet. Malasana. 
So here I'm sinking down into the squat. I'm not doing anything, but I'm going to press down and have integrity in this squat position. And my thumbs close to my chest, my heart. Now place your hands on the floor, push into the floor, straighten your legs, forward fold. If you have to bend your knees to get your hands to the floor, do that. Otherwise, straighten your legs and have your hands flat on the floor as much as you can. And kind of, you can straighten one leg, bend the other, and then change, and then change, and then hold. Now bring the hands up to the shins, to the thighs, stand all the way up, inhale, reach. Reach for your wrist, draw your arm over the ear, side stretch, soften the knees, look up to your ceiling, and then inhale, reach, change sides, arm over the ear, look up. Inhale and reach, exhale, bring the arms down and relax. Thank you so much, you did it again, stop. We're done, we did the 10 moves. Okay, thank you so much for showing up and for working out for yourselves. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope to see you again next time, or at least hear from you. Please let me know about your experience. Thanks for joining me.